But this is why I bring in Professor Kobe Mensa because you also watched what happened and the, and the messages and responses that were given to the questions that were asked, regardless of the structure and the process that it took. Did they take the box for you quickly? Anyway, thank you, Alfred. I think that the, the principle that the Baumia campaign seeks to push, and I'm sure you would agree with most Ghanaians who find it very challenging, you know, that principle. Uh, obviously, you are in a team that is governing, yet you're expressing change. And I am sure that anybody who actually disagrees with you, you would appreciate the challenge. Now, I can imagine a marketing manager sitting here or coming to your show and saying that my boss is doing something wrong. And if I come or if I'm given the CEO position, I'm going to change the content of the product. I'm going to change the pricing. I'm going to change that. I am sure that such a marketing manager, you wouldn't leave this studio. You're going to have a call from your boss to say that you can't come to my office because you are the marketing manager. You're supposed to actually articulate the kind of product currently that we're selling. If there's something wrong with it, all right, you've got to tell the production team. You've got to actually present it to the board, and then they have to do something about it. You would not allow the consumers to consume an unwholesome product in anticipation that when you become the CEO, you're going to change it. I think that is very serious and very difficult principle for anybody to actually take that position. However, you had also disclosed that when it came to the goal for oil, your boss listened to you and implemented your innovative you know, ideas. But the point is, why didn't your boss take the same recommendation with regards to the taxes. That's a very challenging position. I mean, I, I have always said <coughs> my number one reasons why I'm against the Baumia campaign is because of the change in principle. Change in principle completely. Currently, as you're saying, you said that we shouldn't take what Baumia said on a face value because the answer lies beyond what he said. Well, yes, it says that it was just to said. spice up the moment, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. But, but you also, you also uh, uh, criticize the former president for saying that I am a dead goat. When you play that tape, which most media houses have been playing it over and over again, it tells you the contest that he actually said those things. And you, you, you actually criticize the former president for saying that, uh, uh, what do you call, there was another quote that you guys keep quoting about the former president, that I'm not a magician. You, you remember that mm -hmm. about job uh, giving the student jobs, where he said that you have to do your own bit, all right? But what Whereas is wrong with Dr. Baumia so the having his, his policies <laughs> different from the administration he says? There is everything wrong with it. On the premise that one, mm -hmm. the... President actually touted clearly and convinced the NPP national, is it NEC, the National Executive Committee, uh, the committee that actually has select or agrees to the candidacy, all right? He convinced them that I am actually going for, that's 2008. I was in England, but I actually followed the, the sequence. Okay. He convinced them to say that I am actually going for this gentleman because of his credentials in economics. In fact, I remember PC Afia Ofori sternly against Dr. Baumier's candidacy. But the president did a good job by convincing, just like they're saying now that we should do, give the economy to, to an economist, all right? The president convinced the MPP leadership that because of his credentials, and I don't think he was wrong in saying that because if you're saying, let's give this position to Prof. Jampo because, all right, he's an academic, you know, a consummate academic, he's, he's actually been in front of uh, what do you call, uh, uh, UTAG, et cetera, mm -hmm. and so we should give him vice president. I don't think that anybody will be, will be, will be wrong in actually saying that okay. because he has the credentials. 
But here is the case. If the president has actually defended boldly his choice, all right, based on his expertise, how then would you argue that the same expertise the president is not taking it? And as a result, you have to be the boss before you can actually get the opportunity to implement it. I think it's a very strange, and that's why reasonable people find it difficult to accept. Look, the only person who would accept the principle of Dr. Baumier's campaign are the activists. The people who are passionate well, about the, the question, party. Whether he, Dr. Bano is aware, for instance, whether there's, Dr. Baumier has made that proposal to the president to abolish the e-levy. Even before he made that announcement in that policy statement he, he, he read sometime in February, mm -hmm. he said he's not aware. You know, yeah. But then again, you, 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 you take the position that to the extent that he's, he's EMT chair, he sits in cabinet, he's the vice president, he should have whispered it into the ears of the president by now about the, 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 <laughs> the downside of the e-levy. No, but the man had to. Yeah, uh, sorry. But, yeah. sorry. Oh, no, 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 just, uh, uh, just to uh, give uh, an information uh, mm -hmm. that long before we heard him speak about e levy last, last, um, this is last February. Yeah. no, no, he had on radio spoken against e levy that he, he believed that it was against to, generally you know, taxing, taxing the poor. Mm -hmm. I think he yes. had said something. Yeah, like actually, it's a from yeah, 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 but, but it's see, important. So, that, so, that so in principle, in principle. You have to be clear. Because see, I find it challenging to think that if I have to support what Dr. Baumier says, I find it challenging to my conscience because then I'm not being truthful to my conscience. Why because it's illogical. It's completely illogical from my you know, profession perspective and from my general conscience perspective. It would be illogical for marketing person, consummate political marketing person, to accept that particular argument. You know, and so, so mm -hmm. I, I don't find comfortable. Sometimes people say, oh, so you don't find anything good about Dr. Baumier's position? I said, well, he's a fantastic gentleman. I have always said, look, if I show you the piece that I wrote about this man in 2014, you will marvel. Why you they about change, Dr. Baumier? Yeah, why they change in my position. I wrote a piece about the branding of this guy in 24 days in the docket. And like many other people, we will marvel about how he espoused politics, all right? Mm -hmm. The principal position that he had. And the complete change. I find it so strange. And I, I always challenge myself just to see whether I can appreciate his position. But I can't because in my professional perspective, I don't find it logical. In my conscience, I don't see how you would use these things to accuse somebody. Yet when you are being... We have something called content appropriation right, in political marketing. Mm -hmm. When you are being measured by the same thing, you said, no, my case should be different. How should that be possible? Okay. You know, you said that somebody said he's not a magician. You said somebody suspended uh, uh, what do you call nurses' allowances. But in the media encounter, they pointed out to you that some people haven't received the money. In fact, you accused the former president of incompetency. In the media encounter, you were told that Cocobot, one of the, uh, uh, the most influential institution in our finances, you say you have no clue. If it was Mahama, and let us be very, very frank. So, as so people, you are comparing wait, vice let, president to a president? Or no, 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 what, no, no, no. Don't, that don't that bring it that equation. No, no, but no, I'm, talking about, I'm talking so, so, about so, so communication principles. No, 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 no I'm, I'm talking that's about communication principles. No, I mean, you, and you, that's you, why you, I find you've been it very strange. You know that the baseline should be fair. I am a consummate academic. But what I'm saying is that communication principle, communication principle, if you say that somebody was highly incompetent, all right, and you are in the position, Vice presidential position is not a chicken feed, all right? And you are seeking to become a president. And they ask you, do you know Cocoa Board is actually collapsed? And I don't know whether it's collapsing or not. That was the well, question, been, been that, was the question that you were asked. And you competently said that, I don't know. Ask yourself, if it was Mahama who has actually said that in his years, well... You can imagine what happened. So for me, mm -hmm. it is the principle. Look, right. you asked a Misata, seven, what, how many questions? Well, well, he was a vice president. Yes, and that's vice president. To yeah, a vice but president. when they asked Dr. Baumia as a vice president, 
he's deflecting it. And he says, you, you can't do that. I mean, for me, be frank with you, I find it very challenging. And I don't see any reasonable citizen who doesn't well, find this principle very well, challenging. So if you don't, you are the activist. Activist, that's the job. You're supposed to support your party <laughs> through and through. If you're a political operationer, uh, 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 so you're in the end, they, they, the they, they, but if you're a very ordinary they, Ghanaian as me, you must find this very, very challenging. Did, did that encounter market, Dr. Baumann? No, it doesn't. I think that, the, I think that, no. Alfred, mm -hmm. if you look at from a marketing perspective, all right, and we're looking at the image, the brand image. Forget about the idea that he was fidgeting with his microphone. I, I do what I call prosodic mm. coding, right? When I'm doing research, you can't ask people <laughs> what whether you're corrupt. What has that got to do but, with Yeah, it's communication. Saying. It's communication. <laughs> you can't ask people whether they are corrupt for them to give you a straight answer. So in such situations, we use a certain approach called prosodic. That's uh, the theory for coding, how to talk about issues, etc. If I use that to measure what he was saying from a communication perspective, he was struggling, all right? So from a marketing perspective, I don't think that the competency that he is known to embody really showed up on that particular day. Forget about even the straight answer that he gave. On the count of non-verbals, and I can tell you, every communication person watching that particular encounter and measuring it against the communication framework that we use to measure, he was finding it difficult. Look, there was one question he spent 23 minutes. The question about the former president accusing you of no, no longer being the economic messiah. He spent 23 minutes on that question. What it tells that? you that he was struggling. So he didn't serve the purpose. <laughs> I see. Well, <laughs> why are you laughing? Now, let's, 